Good morning guys, welcome to the YouTube channel of the Bitcoin family. My name is Didita Yutu for the newcomers. I am the guy that went all into Bitcoin three years ago when I sold my house, my cars, my pension and everything else. I took my family into a camper van and started traveling the world. Now three years later, still traveling the world, now coming to you guys from Koh Phangan, Thailand. In today's video guys, I'm going to talk to you about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to share my knowledge about the difference between leverage trading or spot trading. I'm going to try to simplify it for you guys so you understand what, what is the difference between these types of trading, showing you the trade of the week and where I show you which currency could be a nice profit for the next couple of weeks. Talking a little bit about Litecoin and the huge resistance it is fighting at the moment. Showing you how the market is moving up and down now when it comes to trading volume. Also showing you that the biggest pension fund of the world lost almost whole Bitcoin's market cap in just quarter one. And that is the reason why I don't have a pension fund anymore and why I chose for a different solution. And I will end the video guys with a beautiful parade here because Thai Buddhism Day, the start of the Buddhism land has been celebrated yesterday here on the streets with a beautiful parade. And of course I was there to witness it. And of course I'm there now to share it with you guys. Enjoy this video. Let's take a jump into my office. Oh, oh, yes, welcome onto the beach, guys. Yes, this is my office during the lockdown here in Copacan, Thailand. But soon we will move out from this place to another place. I will tell you more at the end of the video. I will also show you that the last two days here in Thailand were two holidays. These two holidays were the Asana Busha and the start of the Buddhist Lent. Both were celebrated yesterday and the day before and I will show you a short clip of how this was celebrated here in Chalaglong with a beautiful parade with music and dance um, so you need to watch the video till the end because you will see a beautiful culture and what they celebrated and how they celebrated it here through the streets of Chalaglong in Thailand it's a very cloudy day guys I think we are going to see a lot of rain I also need to be at a YouTube meetup in like two hours so I will make a short video today and so I can edit it on time and you have it again with your cup of coffee uh, tomorrow I promise to you guys I will visit another amazing place in Thailand and show you another beautiful site here on Copacan Thailand while I talk you through the news about blockchain life and Bitcoin of course the Bitcoin price guys yes I made a lot of energy but maybe I titled my videos two days ago a little bit wrong I have some problems with finding kick-ass clickbait titles lately. I make beautiful thumbnails now, but now the titles are lacking because I can see that my title, I, I think I called the video Bitcoin 930 million entering or re-entering the market. This is a title that might confuse people because people didn't understand it. And I saw, okay, we got 4,000 views, but other people that use a title like Bitcoin 2K candle incoming, they got way more views. The information of the videos, both of those, is the same. We both expect a 2K candle. That is why I need to use these clickbait titles. I got some comments in my videos why are you using these clickbait, clickbait images, clickbait titles. This is the reason. Because we need more views. We need to grow our channel to monetize it a little more because the goal of our monetization is giving it back to all those poor people around the world we will meet. And to be very honest guys, I really don't think that many YouTubers have these same goals. They will use their monetization and their profits for themselves, to enrich themselves, which is not bad because I respect everybody for what he does. But I just hope that we are able to monetize our YouTube channel a bit more and that people really start to understand that we are giving away all the profits and our channel will grow even more and we will be able to give even more. So that will create a snowball effect of this rolling snowball that will become bigger and bigger and bigger because we get, start to give more and more and more. This becomes a circle where we make more content, get more views, give more, get more views, give more, get more views, give more. Now, this is the goal of our channel so I hope you understand it and hope that's one of the reasons why you now give it a thumbs up why you now subscribe to the channel hit the bell button and share it with your community guys 
Thank you. As you could see, guys, I bought bitcoins already three days ago now at 9,080 US dollar. I shared with you guys that I bought 0.5 bitcoins at Kraken at that point. You can see it in the video of two or three days ago. I don't know for sure anymore. And now bitcoin is at 9,350. Which means, guys, that if I would have bought one Bitcoin, I would be now in like 270 US dollar in profit. Because I bought 0.5 Bitcoin, I'm only in profit for 135 US dollar. Not exact numbers, but about. So that's a nice profit in two days' times. Many people are asking me, Didi, what is the, tr the difference between leverage trading and spot trading? So I will try to simplify it um, so you will understand. I will try to simplify it with an example. Um, spot trading is just what you all are doing probably you are going on to Binance and you buy a Bitcoin with your US dollar teeter for example and then you just own this Bitcoin if the price goes up your value in US dollar will increase if the price goes down your value in US dollar will decrease but you still own the one Bitcoin you bought so this is what they call spot trading you buy a Bitcoin you hold the Bitcoin and whatever the price does you still have one Bitcoin if you're talking about leverage trading, it's difficult to explain, but um, you increase your trade by lending from the platform. Let's, for example, take my trade. I bought Bitcoin at 9,080 US dollar. Let's say I bought one Bitcoin. Now today, the Bitcoin price is 9,350 US dollar. So that's a profit of 270 US dollar if I would sell my Bitcoin today. This is what they call a spot trade. You buy a Bitcoin and you sell a Bitcoin with profit and you trade back into US dollar Tether or whatever other stable coin you want to use. If I would have done the same trade, but now with leverage, then I would have bought a Bitcoin at 9,080 US dollar. I would have put a long into the, for example, Prime XBT or Dudex platform. If you sign up to Prime XBT using my uh, referral link, you get a 50% deposit bonus, which is a huge one. And if you sign up to Dudex, you can get a bonus up to 300 US dollar, which also is tremendous. If you want to leverage trade, Please do your own research on how it works and everything, but also um, use my referral link to sign up because then you will get these crazy ass bonuses. If I would have done the same trade with leverage trading, guys, then I would have gone long at 9,080 and would have, for example, stopped the trade now at 9,350. I would, I would have made, for example, more than 2,000 US dollars. It's difficult to now calculate out of the top of my head how much my profit exactly would be but I think if you would leverage trade with 10 or with 100 times, your profit would minimum be like 2,000 US dollars. That's almost 10 times more than what I made now with spot trading. Yes, the risk is also way more bigger. Because in spot trading, buying Bitcoin and selling Bitcoin, I can never lose my Bitcoin. It can go up and down in value, but I cannot lose my Bitcoin. In leverage trading, where you borrow from the trading platform to increase your trade you can lose because let's for example say i bought one bitcoin at 9080 us dollar and then bitcoin fell down to 7000 us dollar i would still have my one bitcoin yes it would be less valuable because then it's only worth like 7k us dollars but i still have my bitcoin i'm still in the game if bitcoin goes up again it, the value increases again with leverage trading guys this is completely different if I would have bought one Bitcoin at 9,080 and it would have gone long in Prime XBT, for example, at that point, I'm gambling on Bitcoin going up. To keep it simple, because I put a long in the leverage trading like 10 times, I lent a lot of money from the exchange to put in this trade. The exchange will tell you then, Didi, so if you want to do leverage trading, let's say you want to have a leverage of 10, then we are lending you some money to put a bigger trade. But we need to make sure that um, we also can earn some money. So what do we do? You go long in Bitcoin at 9,080 US dollar. You expect Bitcoin to go up. But if Bitcoin drops below, let's say, 9,050 US dollar, you will lose a trade, you will lose your Bitcoins. This is the key difference between leverage trading and spot trading. Yes, you can make way more profit with leverage trading but there is a bigger risk to it as well. Because if you lose the trade, you lose your Bitcoins. You're gone. You're out of the market. You need to put in new Bitcoins again to pick a new trade. In spot trading, if Bitcoin loses value, you don't lose your Bitcoins. You still hold your Bitcoins. You don't need to enter the market with new Bitcoins. You're still in the market. The Bitcoin you hold is just worth less US dollars at that point. 
So key difference between spot trading, leverage trading. So please make sure you're an advanced or pro trader and you understand the fundamentals of this leverage trading because else you can get wrecked. And like we say in this industry, you lose your Bitcoins. So for the starters, just use the Binance referral link and all the normal trading platforms where you just buy Bitcoins and hold your Bitcoins and even sell Bitcoins when they go to the top, but you keep your Bitcoins. Hope that was clear. If it is not clear, maybe I should make a tutorial on the differences between leverage trading and spot trading, but I will do that in another video because I want to keep this one a little bit short because I need to go to a YouTube meetup today, guys. I think Bitcoin will go even more higher now. I think we will go to 9,700. I think we will try to break 10,500 because the whole market, not only the Bitcoin market, but also Chinese trading market, the American market, they are all looking very positive at the moment. So if they go up, Bitcoin is also going up because we still can see that they are related to each other and that they all together go up and down a little bit yes we need to disconnect bitcoin from the traditional markets but it still didn't happen so till that time you just play the game the way the game needs to be played why do i think that bitcoin is still going up from here because you can see in this chart from lisa yes i like lisa's charts because many times they are correct but on this car chart this one you can see that the total market cap is also trying to break out if we are able to break out the total market cap from this point the next goal would be around 324 billion us dollar total market cap we are now around 260 billion dollar you can see this channel downward channel and we are trying to break out if we break out we can see a total market cap pump up to 324 billion us dollar we can also see this already in the alts because in the last few weeks there were a lot of alts outperforming bitcoin they could have made a lot of profit in a lot of alts in the last couple of weeks if it comes to lisa she shared her trade of the week yesterday in my show with her on youtube her trade of the week guys is ont look at this chart this is the chart Clap. on this chart is her trade of the week in the last couple of trades lisa made almost on average like 60 70 percent on every trade she did um, and she shared with us in the last couple of videos so i think she is doing something right because if you make 60 percent every week with these altcoins you can read the charts you know and, and this week's trade so is ont I'm also looking at a Litecoin chart because I can see that Litecoin is also trying to break out, guys. Litecoin is still around $44. We need to break that huge resistance. If Litecoin is able to break this resistance, Litecoin can make a huge run up. Litecoin has done this before many times. For me, Litecoin has always been leading in these small bull runs. The last couple of runs, Litecoin hasn't been leading. Maybe now Litecoin will make this run up again because they are very hard. Um, fighting this resistance and I think if they break this as resistance Litecoin can have, see a beautiful run up as well also very positive guys is that we see a 12 million buy wall on Bitcoin which means there are buy orders placed around 9200 ish around 12 million US dollars on, on like two exchanges this means that if Bitcoin would drop back to 9200 a lot of people start to buy Bitcoin again this could of course happen because if you fall back from 9350 to 9200 12 million dollar of bitcoin will be bought so that will increase bitcoin's price again and we'll pick it up again back to 9350 or even break 9500 guys this is the trading game it's fun to watch um, again i talk about it because a lot of you want me to talk about it i don't stress about it daily i just have a lot of fun in watching this market moving I zoom out in crypto, I play the long game, sometimes I buy some bitcoins and every time when I buy them, I will share it with you guys. So that is why I shared with you, I bought some more bitcoin at, eight, at 9,080 US dollar. The next time I will buy bitcoins, I will share it again with you guys, so you can see how I trade and if I make profit or if I lose. Because I also think that if I want to lead by example in life, I also need to lead by example in trading. So I'm not only talking about trading, I'm also showing you that I'm buying and selling. Because that is leading by example. That is how you can learn how to trade and how to play the long-term game. I see so many YouTubers talking about the Bitcoin price going up, going down, going there, going this. But I don't see so many YouTubers really buying and selling Bitcoin. I refer to this as talking the talk, but not walking the walk. That is what we do in life. We don't only talk about going all in, not using banks anymore, disrupting the monetary system. We are 
doing all these steps. We went all in. We solely live on cryptocurrency already for three and a half years. We don't own bank accounts and we do everything to disrupt this monetary system that we don't think is equal for everybody in this world. So there's a difference between talking the talk and walking the walk. I think we as a family can proudly say we are walking the walk. And I'm going to do this in the trading industry now as well. Because you guys want me to talk about trading. I will lead by example. Though I want to show you what I do. That's why I showed you that I bought Bitcoin at 9,080 US dollar. If we look a little bit more at the crypto market, we can see that the derivatives market. So this leverage game market is declining in Bitcoin. This chart. Pop. This is a beautiful chart where you can see these colorful uh, candles. You can see all these are representing, all the colors are representing an exchange. So we are talking about Binance, OKEx, BitMEX, Huobi. All these colors, you can see if there was an increase or a decrease in uh, volume. We can see after the peak in May, we see a decreasing candle. So we can see this derivatives market on all these exchanges is declining since the peak in May. So this one is going down a little bit. Because it's too boring, people just don't want to trade at the moment. We also can see the same in the spot market. So in the market of just buying and selling Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies, we can see a decline of interest over there as well. Um, maybe it will increase a little bit now if they expect the alt season to begin. But we can see an average that all the exchanges are trading a little bit less. There is a little bit less volume. Um, but again, we are trying to break the resistance. And if we break this total market cap resistance, this means that all cryptocurrencies will increase in price and that will get all these traders again activated because if they see that the market starts to move, then they want to enter the trades again. Then they will enter the market again because then it gets exciting. It's not boring anymore and they like to play these games. Only strange thing I can share with you guys is that we can see the regulated market that one is increasing huge time because we can see the CME from Chicago. We can see there that there were 41% more Bitcoin options than the previous month. 41% increase of Bitcoin options. That's a huge increase. That's a regulated market. These are the regulated players. These are the, are the big funds and all these people that want to play by the rules. So they are increasing their options in Bitcoins. The futures on the opposite again decreasing in the regulated market as well they are decreasing by 23 percent if i remember correct please don't punish me too hard if the numbers are not like on the dot because i don't have any computer with me i'm walking on the beach i don't know the exact numbers but i think the future market decreased with 23 percent and the option market increased with 41 percent one more thing because i always in my intro say oh we went, i'm the guy that went all in and sold his house his, his companies his pension yes i also took my whole pension and went all in with this pension in bitcoin as well why because i don't believe in pension because at that point I was like guys if I look at the results you have been making in the last 10 years with the funds I've been depositing in your pension fund you have only made losses how can you promise me that when I get 65 you can give me money on a monthly basis if you're only making losses of course their answer was yeah sometimes we make losses but on the whole 30 years on average we will make a profit of 6% and then at the end we will be able to pay you at that point in life, I already quickly realized this calculation could never be correct because we have an aging problem in the world. All over the world, we see more and more elderly people that all need a pension in the future. And if they only make 6% profits, they will never be able to pay all these pensions when this biggest amount of people will flow into the pension market. There just won't be enough funds to pay those people. It's an easy calculation. Now, today I read the news that the largest pension fund of the world lost the whole Bitcoin market cap in quarter one. So the largest pension fund, they lost 165 billion US dollars just in the first quarter. If they are losing again because of this huge crisis we are going to face now, how will they be able to pay pensions in the future? How will you be able to recover in this short future for all these people that are now going into these pension years i don't think they will i think pension will stop existing in a couple of years i think when i'm 65 there won't be a pension or 65 oh my god i think in the netherlands you now need to work till 71 before you can get your pension but for me i don't believe in it i don't think there will be a pension when i will be 71 i think that the pensions don't exist at that time anymore so that is why i took my pension fund Yes, it costed me like 40% because I lost 40% of value of taking my pension fund early. 
and I took it, went all on Bitcoin and tripled it in three weeks. So that's my story about the pension fund, because I find it really crazy that people really, really want to save up money for when they are very old to start enjoying life at that point, while enjoying life at this point would be way more interesting to me. Because when I'm 65 or 70, I don't see myself climbing these mountains. I don't see myself diving into the seas. I don't see myself surfing on the Bali waves because then I'm probably too old or don't want to take all these crazy risks anymore. So why not enjoy life now? So why not now pick, take your pension fund, put it in Bitcoin, run this bull run up all to 100K. So your pension fund could go to times 10 from here in a year or two. And then from that money, you can start to live now and not wait till you're 65 or 67 or 71, whatever age your country is having to go in your well-deserved pension. So that is one of the reasons we also chose to live now and to take this, all these monies and go all in because we want to live now and show our kids that living now in the moment is way more important than thinking of the future. Talking about the future, our future still looks bright. We are probably going to leave this beautiful island of Copangan. I have a lot of problems of leaving this island. I love the island, I love the community, I love the people, but I also have a family and my family tells me, Didi, we are in for a next adventure. The kids are telling me we are in to have some more social contacts with same age kid, children. So maybe we'll even dip our toe for a week or two in the Netherlands and then we fly to Spain to see their grandmother and grandfather and maybe then we will continue our long planned trip around the world for five years in a camper van. We don't know for sure but the possibility of flying to Europe becomes bigger and bigger every day and I feel not completely happy with it. Um, this is a big problem for me because I'm really scared that if we go to Europe and there will be another lockdown, that we will be locked down in Europe. And that is exactly what I don't want for my family. I want my family to be living in these countries where we have all this freedom to do and live in the way we want. But then again, I don't want to live in fear and I want to support my family 24 seven because I want my kids and my wife to be happy. So I think the only solution I can make there um, is to take them to Europe for a couple of months before we return back to Asia again during the cold winters in Europe. I promised you to show you some culture, so here you get the culture. Yesterday I went onto the streets of Chalaklam because there was this amazing parade going on of music and dancing people all very neatly dressed up in the traditional clothes of Thailand, a beautiful sarong with a white uh, top and these women were all in line and dancing the same dance. I recognize these celebrations from the Moluccan Islands where we are from in Indonesia. They all have these beautiful cultural dance and all that stuff and they were doing it here on the street yesterday. So I went out there, I filmed it for you guys because it was all about this Buddhist day. It was a very important day. It was the start of the Buddhist land. What is the Buddhist land? I will tell you very short. The Buddhist land is this start of this three month cycles that people go into these Buddhism retreats. Mostly this one is also used for young kids to go into Buddhism for like three months. So these kids, they go into the temple, they get shaved, they get, they lose their eyebrows, they lo lose their hair. And then for three months, they stay in this temple. Then they committed to be a Buddhist for their whole life. So this all is celebrated with a beautiful parade through the streets with uh, Buddhas chanting in the temples. Many celebrations are done on these two days. It's a national holiday, so everything is closed, the bars, all the stuff that goes, that closes down because all these Thai people want to celebrate these two special days in Thailand. Enjoy the footage. <laughs> Wow, guys, these kinds of things I really enjoy. The culture of other countries, just in like this whole parade with music, dancing, all Thai culture. This is what I love, man. Just sitting there, just enjoying those people, having fun.
and I hope you enjoyed the complete video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, share it with your community, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. And I wish you an amazing day and I hope to see you tomorrow again. Bye. Thank you.